Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is Hunt Ionex and today we're doing a video review on the Gundam Infinity Astray Red Frame. So this was released a long while ago. Just now getting around to reviewing it because I want to because I can. And yeah, so basically let's get into it. So as you can see by the detail, this is a really nice detailed figure line. Like this is really something nicely detailed obviously if you wanted to you like that was panel lines and some stuff and I know like certain parts are not colored correctly but it's, it's just it's just an action figure line like it's not it's not like meant for that although it's got plenty of opportunity for it well, yeah so uh, what is Gundam Infinity well it is this kind of action figure line made by Bandai America for Gundam and it is basically well bunch of action figures of Gundams with the one sole intention of pop and swap so I'll demonstrate real quick for you it's got a ball joint at the arms it does not hinge out at all but there's a ball joint there and every single component is on a ball joint because you're supposed to pop it off swap it around with another part I don't know why this pops off on my copy but it does and there you go so now we'll move on to stuff like the articulation now that you know what it is uh, obviously arms can only go so far and can only do so much. It does have a really nice elbow bend and a nice bulge one at the wrist. When it comes to the head, he's got some nice range to him as well. Rocking all over the place side, 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 up. Down. Moving down to the torso, he's got a ball joint that allows you a little bit of wiggle, and mainly some swivel. Ball joint at the legs goes out only about that far and goes back uh, pretty decently out not so much bend at the knee not really and a ball joint at the ankle getting every single one of these every single one of these are on ball joints so obviously for the whole gimmick of swapping the parts around so one of the big things I like about this line the most is that well it's sturdy. If we do the evangelist method of just throwing the thing at a wall, you can see that it is very clearly a sturdy item. <laughs> These things are very much meant for you to mess around with, throw in your pocket, take pictures, and whatever have you. I think for the very soft V thin. But I'd still try to watch out for that. So, when it comes to this guy's accessories, he does actually come with a decent chunk. So you get, so you get the standard Gundam assortment of a shield and a beam rifle. They just slide right into his hand and then plug right on to his arm, like so. But the Astray is not really known for his beam rifle and shield, now is he? Nah, nah, nah. For that, you get something like this. This is a katana. Well, at least the katana helped with a removable sword. And you might be asking, why is the handle removable? Well, since if we put the hilt on his hip, you can, well, for one thing, store it on there which is nice but uh, so the reason that handle comes out is so you can well, digit and bring this in now this is the primary weapon i and many others will probably use with this figure which is of course the katana take off the bottom part maybe ditch the beam rifle and shield apparently slide this right into the hand take the nub and stick it back on and now Got his sword. Zooming back so you can see that just a little better. It's a massive sword. It's about as tall as him, I want to say. Like if we were to do that, yeah, it's about about on par with him. So it is a decently sized katana blade. Which makes sense because it's a giant robot, it's not a human holding the sword, so it's got it. For size comparison, here he is with the mobile suit and action strike gundam, the line that people kind of attribute Gundam Infinity closest to and fellow Gundam Infinity figure Gundam Artemis from the Gundam Mobile Breaker game. So you guys have it. That was a video review on Gundam Infinity the Stray Red Frame. This is actually a pretty neat line. I like this figure most specifically from it. I, I think it's a really fun little figure. I think the color separation is nice on it. I'm not entirely sure what the thoughts are on the line, honestly. That's kind of why I made the review. Like, I know a couple people really like it. 
Um, but I also get the vibe that people probably don't really think it's anything special. And I thought I'd just kind of throw my throw my thoughts into the ring, you know, just kind of show off the red frame because I think he's probably the best figure in the line so far. And yeah, he's just a really good figure. I highly recommend him. If you can find him for a good price, definitely. I know Amazon has them in stock all the time and they're always on sale, so wouldn't be too bad to grab one or even your favorite design because I heard the Barber Toast is really good as well. But yeah, so there you guys have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos down below. I also have all my social medias and stuff in the description down below if you want to check me out there. And until next time, you guys, peace.